Hey, what's up everybody? Today we came to uh, Driftwood River. It's down in Columbus, almost to Columbus. I've scouted this area before and it seemed like a pretty good spot. We checked the weather a few times before we came down and it uh, showed no rain, but uh, we got here and uh, as you can see in here, it's, it's raining. So we're gonna give it a few minutes and wait for, uh, I checked the radar and it looks like uh, most everything's gonna be out here in a few few minutes. So we're gonna hang out and wait. We're gonna be shooting for some smallmouth. We're gonna be using Ned rigs today. Uh, this river and this area has a lot of flat rocks on the bottom. And uh, there is some cover, but a lot of flat rocks and uh, it's a good, a good, good area for smallmouth. So uh, Huddy and I are gonna drop in here in a few minutes. Uh, I might use a, a Z-Man crawl, and Huddy may just use a, a regular Ned, a Ned rig worm. We'll switch it up uh, if it's not working. We're gonna use our same poles that we always use when we go to the creek, G Loomis rods, Shimano reels. They seem to be the best as far as getting those small bites with the small fish. Hopefully the rain stops here soon and we can drop in. Huddy, what are you gonna? What are you expecting? A lot of good smallmouth because, like he said, there's a lot of flat rocks, and they like flat rocks because they can like eat the crawfish, crawdads, and stuff. Yeah, we already went went down uh, right before it started raining and, and lifted up a few rocks and found some decent size some decent sized crawfish. So hopefully we're in the right spot, and uh, when it stops raining, we'll head out and uh, hopefully hook into some big ones. What do you think? Sound good? Nice looking turtle. Right there. Oh, there he goes. Got one. Is fishing one of your favorite things? Mm hmm. Oh, is okay. that a rock bass? Yeah, rock bass. Yeah, hold on, let me hold it. I will. Have you ever doubled up? Like, you've caught this. Nice little rock bass. Have you ever caught the same, like, the same fish? <laughs> I don't know. Hold it in front of you. Have you? Have you ever like got the hooked this hooked a fish with your friend like the, at the same time? Mm, well, we did in the golf course video, remember? A little rocky. A little rock. rocky bass. He's literally. You check your foot out. That one? Yep. Can I really... See, look. This is a small one for this place. What, buddy? You hung up? No. I don't know. Don't catch anything. Well, you will. Hold on. Get it unhooked. Yeah. Get him through camera. Oh, look. Come over here. Look. That's a snake. He's got a fish. He's got a fish. What is that snake? I don't know what kind it is, but see what I mean? It's what I was trying to tell you that one day. You'll see the snake on top of the water. They're not gonna be like swimming under the water trying to attack you. Oh, dang, did you see that? That's a good one. You'll get one, buddy. You just gotta keep fishing. Decent smallmouth. You got one? Yeah. All right. Keep your rod tip up. Smally. Looks like it. Nice. Baby. All right. Here, I'll hold your pole. You unhook him. 
we go. Honey, that's not, you understand how you're going the opposite. There you go, just like that. Pop it out of there. Sorry, I got it. There you go. Yeah, you Looks hear that? That's a beaver. First bass for me. A little bit further back. There First bass for me. Hey, it's one. I <laughs> look at him. <laughs> ah. Oh, baby, as soon as it landed, Huddy. Oh, be a big one. Be a big one. Oh, be a big one. I can't tell. He's swimming right at me. Not bad. He's over a pound. Isn't he? Yeah. Decent smallie. Come on. And all we're using is a Ned Rig, and I'm using a Z-Man Crawl. Hey, can you hold this? Whoa! Oh, look, I want a fish. You got one, you got one. All right, buddy. Oh, that's a good one, too. <gasps> There's another he, one. Man, he might have swallowed it, buddy, because you weren't paying attention. Did he? Can you get it? Kinda. Here's the bass. Back up a little bit. That's it's, your best smallmouth this year. This is better than yours. It's close. Got one. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, yeah. Pop is so young. Mm-hmm. They had them dark colors. Nice little small. I mean, that's little compared to this for this river. Little boy. Uh, Hurry, he's grinding my finger. He's a feisty one. I Gotta just respect him, man. I bet. I don't know. Is that a pterodactyl or what? Did you see that shadow? Yeah. It's like, there it goes. Where is it? Oh, there he is. It's a big hawk or a big, uh, I think they're turkey vultures out here. I think that's what they call them. What if it tries to pick me up? Well, fortunately, you're just a little bit too big. Whoa, look at that rock. Pick that rock up, dude. Oh, wow. Is that even a rock? Yeah. No, it's a piece of wood. No, it is a rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Uh-oh, might have a big one, honey. Oh, yes. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, we might have a good one finally, Huddy. I think we do. Come over here. Yep, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, yes. This is what we've been waiting on, dude. Look at that. Holy crap. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> now that's a smallmouth. Hold that. How big is that? Hold that. What? Baby. Let me see. Now that right there is Here. that thing's approaching four pounds. I'm telling you, your camera's off. Mine's fine. Here. That is a big, big, big smallmouth right there, bud. Here, don't release it. I'm not. Look at that smallie, guys. Big boy. Good smallmouth. What do you think, Huddy? I told you there's some big ones out here. Yeah. You can let him go now. Hold him up one more time so with by the belly. Like, with your finger in his mouth. Yep, just like that. Beautiful small mouth, babe. Yes. All right, everybody. That does it for our video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like our content. Please share it with anyone you think would be interested in the, the content that we're creating. We went to Driftwood River here in Columbus. We did pretty good. 
We caught one really big one and a, and a bunch of decent ones. Great scenery here. It's not very deep, so if you and your family wanted to come out, and we've even seen a couple families out here, just out here skipping rocks. So uh, don't be afraid to come. We're at Lowell Bridge. So if you search up Lowell Bridge in Columbus, you'll find out exactly where we went. There's plenty of parking. Very easy boat ramp if you want to bring your kayaks. But other than that, you can wade. We went down probably a mile and a half, two miles, and then came back without any issues. Huddy, what'd you think? Good. Uh, at the first start when we got here, it was like raining, so we had to wait for like 30 minutes. But the fishing was really good. We caught a four pounder, at least four or three pounds of smallmouth, and I would say we got a five, five bass. Yeah, we caught quite a few, and uh, the fishing was pretty good here. It's very similar to what Sugar Creek is, and a lot of people say Sugar Creek's the, the gold standard when it comes to, to smallmouth fishing, but uh, to be honest with you, we did really, really well here. So, again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.